Hey, peace family. Today is Thursday, October 12th. Six days in since the attack inside into Israel. And wanted to point out something many of you are probably hearing about. Uh, the former leader of Hamas calls for global jihad, invasion of Israel, attack Jews worldwide tomorrow. Which of course happens to be Friday the 13th, October 13th. Now we know a lot of people who worship the devil are into their their numbers, their little winks to each other for doing uh, wicked things. 13 is the number of rebellion. <clears throat> so uh, I've seen some things on different media platforms also talking about, you know, be extra cautious, heighten uh Vigilant, heightened vigilance. Um, you know, be aware of your surroundings more, especially in larger cities. Um, that would make sense. Our country's been infiltrated by people who hate us at our poorest southern border, and uh, they are getting shipped all across this country, and they have been for several months. Uh, they, they probably are more congregated in larger cities. <clears throat> So if you guys, any of you watching, live in a large city like I used to in uh, Metro Twin Cities, Minnesota, where next to Mogadishu, Somalia, we have the largest Somali population, I believe, in the world. Um, yeah, we were steady getting invaded for a while. So just uh, continue in prayer tomorrow on that day. Um, you know, if you work someplace in a more populated uh, metropolitan area, if it's an option to not go in, I think that would be a safe bet. If you have to go in, you just you stay close to the Lord in prayer. Be aware of your surroundings. Be aware of maybe alternate routes in case you have to get out of a, <clears throat> a bad situation sooner than later. I'll say that much. But yeah, this uh, former Hamas leader is calling upon this. We know that radicalized uh, brothers who are into um, this worldview uh, that is... You know, also attacking Israel, uh, they're barbaric, uh, they're demon possessed. So, of course, uh, some of you have heard about that. Another interesting headline I saw: reportage, uh, reported footage showing uh, some Israeli airstrikes on Damascus and Aleppo airports. This again, um, Isaiah 17:1. We're getting close where Damascus will be utterly destroyed, will be a heap of ruin. We live in amazing times. Anyways, uh, yeah, because Iran is, is, is flying in a lot of uh, supplies, probably weapons, um, to attack Israel, being on that border. So uh, Israel's going to have to defend herself, and we're going to see some fireworks sooner than later. <clears throat> Another uh, quick headline I saw that was very interesting, even in liberal Minnesota, the flags are half mast and the bridge is illuminated with blue and white. You know, I, I come from Minnesota. That's where I was born and lived. And um, this surprised me. <laughs> uh, a lot of a lot of countries across the face of the earth are just supporting Israel. I don't know um, this whole beating of war drums. I mean, it's um, just getting people to, their emotions getting hyped up. Um, Anyways, that was just uh, surprising to me, <clears throat> coming from Minnesota and knowing kind of how they lean and everything. And then University of Wisconsin, pro-Palestinian protesters chant glory to the murderers. Um, that doesn't surprise me. Uh, University of Wisconsin, Madison, super liberal, super wicked. Um, woke to those who call evil good and good evil. Man, we are seeing this. And uh, that's par for the course. We're going to see more and more of that. But there is good news, and I am going to uh, come across that here shortly. All right, and just the most recent headline I quick saw here that Hamas officially, officially calls on Israel, Israeli Arabs to join the war, right? So there's uh, Arabs within Israel who are living peacefully and just fine. Now they are being summoned to uh, join the war. That's yeah, going to be some fireworks, but I have an encouraging word from Psalm 7. This kind of got put on my spirit, and I 
wanted to uh, share this. It's, it's very fitting. God's word is the sword of the spirit and helps us with so much and so many things and situations. <clears throat> so before I read that, guys, uh, let's let's not have that spirit of fear. It's getting trickier and harder. Uh, we're seeing real threats. And it's a fine line between like being prepared and being ready and just chips on Jesus. I would say also, if you have self-protective weapons, um, not a bad idea to like know where they are. If maybe you have some backup ones and how to use them and show loved ones the same. Um, you know, after what we saw in Israel and we know we've been infiltrated here in America so much, you know, one thing could set off a plan of uh, these satanic terrorists to start hitting neighborhoods and stuff, possibly. Who knows, my chips are still on Jesus, but in the event that something goofy happens, um, be prepared, be wise. That's all I'll say about that. All right, Psalm 7. O Lord, my God, in you do I take refuge. Save me from all my pursuers and deliver me, lest, like a lion, they tear my soul apart, rendering it in pieces with none to deliver. I mean, totally uh, reminiscent of what we've just seen in Israel with these brutal... Uh, devils and how they've shamefully been killing people. Oh Lord my God, if I have done this, if there is wrong in my hands, if I have repaid my friend with evil or plundered my enemy without cause, let the enemy pursue my soul and overtake it and let him trample my life to, to the ground and let my and lay my glory in the dust. Yeah, tongue tied. Um, this also makes me think of sowing and reaping Let's continue to walk faithfully and to strive to not sin. You know, it makes me think of the, the um, inverse of this statement. He's saying, if I haven't done any wrong, um, or if I have done wrong, like let myself be overcome. Like we all have sin, even this Israel situation. Israel is far from perfect, like uh, every nation on earth. Uh, and they've been infiltrated and attacked. And, uh, there's sowing and reaping. There's a price to pay for sin. And lost Israel is still lost, just like any other lost nation. So uh, the Lord will will allow, you know, these allowances of, of wicked to, to infiltrate. It's, it's human history. You disobey, and the Lord usually will use man and enemies to correct. So let us continue to walk faithfully unto Jesus. <clears throat> Arise, O Lord, in your anger. Lift yourself up against the fury of my enemies. Awake for me. You have appointed a judgment. It's a time for everything. Let the assembly of the peoples be gathered about you over it. Return on high. The Lord judges the peoples. Judge me, O Lord, according to my righteousness. And we're righteous in Christ alone. And according to the integrity that is in me by the Holy Spirit. O let the evil of the wicked come to an end. And may you establish the righteous you who test the minds and hearts, right? <clears throat> As you grow in your faith, it's uh, not just what we do in terms of let us not sin, but our heart, our interior motive. The Lord is seeking those to worship him in spirit and truth, remember? My shield is with God who saves the upright in heart. Yes, the Lord is our shield. He saves us. God is a righteous judge and a God who feels indignation every day. He's not happy with this either, the wickedness. If a man does not repent, God will wet his sword. Repentance. Jesus Christ was preaching repentance. John the Baptist was preaching repentance. Uh, Acts of the Apostles, they were preaching, repent of your sins. Believe on Jesus. All man must repent, must confess that sin and turn away from it. And it's only by the Holy Spirit being received that we can even, uh, you know, we don't come to the Lord perfect. We come to him in shambles and he perfects us, works us, refines us. <clears throat> he has bent and readied his bow. He has prepared for him his deadly weapons, making his arrows fiery shafts. Behold, the wicked man conceives evil and is pregnant with mischief and gives birth to lies. He makes a pit, digging it out, and falls into the hole that he has made. His mischief returns upon his own head, and on his own skull his violence descends. Ooh. These devils against Israel and potentially uh, attacking America. Fear not, guys. 
Lord's going to fight. The Lord's going to make that fall on their heads. Last verse. I will give to the Lord the thanks due to his righteousness. And I will sing praise to the name of the Lord the Most High. There you are, Psalm 7. Like a King Jehoshaphat in... Um, I forget the first or second Chronicles or Kings chapter 20. It's like, Lord, we don't know what to do, but our eyes are on you. And then they started to worship and praise the Lord. And the Lord fought their battle fighting um, against an enemy that was formidable. So be prepared, guys. Take care of those logistical things you need to in your life. Know your exits. Know alternate routes if you have to scramble and move quickly. Having a protective weapon is not a bad idea. Be armed and versed with God's word if you need to speak words from the word to devils who might want to kill us or harm us. Uh, let us smile and give them love and give them something from the Lord's word. In Jesus' name, I can stop them dead in their uh, tracks like when they came for Jesus and he said, I am he, and they all the guards fell down. They were just that his name has power, right? Fear nothing. Fear nothing, guys. Fear nothing. Christ Jesus is for you. His word can encourage us. We have wisdom. Proverbs can give you wisdom on how to function, how to be prepared in the face of calamity. All of God's word is helpful to teach us with righteous living and everything we need. Thank you guys for watching my video. I appreciate it. I love you very much. Stay close to King Jesus. You're going to be just fine. God bless you.